What is going on guys? This is Snake Sports here and the Dukes of James Madison. If you don't get the joke, comment below <laughs> if you do. Alright guys, what is going on guys? Snake Sports here and wow, the Dukes of James Madison has upset the North Dakota State Bison and they snapped the 22 game winning streak in the playoffs for the Bison. Um, they came up short, uh, they came back and tied the game to make it 17-17. They were down 17-0 in this first half and then they came they scored before the halftime uh, to make it 17-7 and then they kicked the field goal or no it was 17-14 and then no no it was 17-10 then they scored again to make it 17-17 and then in the fourth quarter the James Madison Dukes came back and won 27-17 to end the game and to end the win streak it was a hard fought game by the Bisons, but they came up short. James Madison had a is having a spectacular season with knocking off the top-ranked team, North Dakota State. Uh, they are 13-1, and the North Dakota State Bison is now 12-2. Two great teams. James Madison has done a really nice job this year. Um, they beat some pretty good teams, and they lost uh, to a good team as well. Um, but let's just go into the stats for tonight's game. As you all know, the starting quarterback for tonight's game is not Mitch. It is Shore. Um, sorry for not putting it in uh, sore uh, because I did not know. And um, it was, I just went ahead and played, so it's just whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, for James Madison, Brian Shore went 11 for 18, 242 yards, uh, had, uh, threw about 13.4 average per throw, three touchdowns, and one interception. That brought uh, North Dakota State back into the game. Easton Stick went 19 for 38 with 216 uh, yards, zero touchdowns, and zero interceptions. For James Madison rushing, we have Khalid Abdullah. He had 23 uh, carries, 180 yards, pretty good, but zero touchdowns. For North Dakota State, we have King Frazier, who had 12 carries, 44 yards, 3.7 uh, yards per carry, uh, one touchdown. And also Chase Morlock had the other touchdown with three carries and eight yards. Uh, for James Madison receiving, we have John Miller with two receptions and 70 yards, one clutch touchdown, while Khalid Abdullah had two re uh, clutch receptions, 51 yards, and one touchdown. Also, from Jonathan Klusterman, he had one uh, reception, 14 yards, and one touchdown. And John Miller was a clutch ending touchdown to win in the game against the uh, Bisons. Uh, for North Dakota State, nobody scored for... Uh, for Chase Morlock was the receiving or the receiving leader for uh, for the Bisons. He had five receptions, 76 yards, 15.2 uh, yards per catch with zero touchdowns. Also, Darius Shepard had four receptions, 42 yards, 10.5 yards per uh, catch, zero touchdowns. And Connor Wentz, who uh, I believe is the brother of Carson Wentz, uh, one reception, 16 yards, and 16.0 uh, catch a yard per catch. What a game. What a finish by the James Madison Dukes, uh, or the Dukes as you like to say. Um, what uh, what a spectacular season for the North Dakota State Bisons. I know they wish they could have done better. Uh, they beat, though, South Dakota State, who beat uh, North Dakota State earlier in the season. They beat them pretty badly. Um, wow. It, it That was a great game. Uh, hat, hats off to James Madison for upsetting uh, North Dakota State and snapping off their 22-game um, winning streak in the playoffs. F I believe they won, what, five five years in a row for the FCS championships? Man, that's crazy. All right, guys, this is Snake Sports here. Hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for good watching. If you're a Bison fan and a Dukes fan, let me know. Comment below if you guys want me to talk about more about your team. All right, guys, Snake Sports here. Have a great day and peace.